Welcome everybody to Zero to Income. We're glad to have you here. I'm Sean, I'm here with Dana, and we're helping you get your businesses started. We wanna help you move from financial dependence to financial freedom. From dreaming to achieving. From blindly following the masses to being an independent thinker. From zero to income. Welcome to the Zero to Income podcast. This is Tuesday, November 21st, and we're going to jump into an Old Testament book. Uh, this is the book of 1 Samuel. Uh, as we think about business, as we think about aligning our businesses with God, we have to remember to give him every aspect of our business. And uh, a reminder of what it means to be disobedient before the Lord is found here in 1 Samuel chapter 15. And uh, we're going to start reading in verse 17 down through verse 23 or 24, maybe. Uh, in this passage, what we find is that Saul had been given very specific instruction. And then the um, he did not follow that instruction. Samuel went to him uh, by the Lord to correct him. And this is what it says, uh, starting in verse uh, 17. And Samuel said, Though you are little in your own, own eyes, are you not head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel. And the Lord set you on a mission and said, Go, devote to destruction the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are consumed. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Why did you pounce on the spoil and do what was evil in the sight of the Lord? And Saul said to Samuel, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. I have gone on the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought Agag, the king of, the, uh, uh, king of uh, Amalek, and I have devoted the Amalekites to destruction. But the people took the, of the spoil, the sheep, the oxen, the best of the things devoted to destruction, to sacrifice to the Lord your God and Gil Gilgal. And Samuel said, Has the Lord uh, as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of divination, and, or witchcraft, really, and presumption is as iniquity and idolatry. Uh, because you have rejected the words of the Lord, you have also, uh, or he has also, the Lord has also, rejected you from being the king. And then in verse 24, Saul says to Samuel, I have sinned for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord. And uh, regardless of Saul's heart, Samuel's heart at that point, uh, he would be rejected king. Uh, I raise the question today, what is it in our businesses that we have started to follow the voice of the Lord, but have not been completely obedient to it. Let's think about that and come back after the break and discuss it a little bit. Sean and I would like to invite you to say goodbye to spending countless hours and countless dollars in trying to launch your business. Personally, I've spent over $20,000 on two ideas trying to get them launched with companies that promised to help me all along the way, only to find that things were very complicated, they were guessing, and neither of them truly helped me launch my business. Sean and I discovered that there are very easy tools, very easy ways for you to get your business launched. And we invite you to take part of that. Join us on this adventure. Go to zero to income.com to learn more. Z E R O the number two income.com and learn more. God gave Samuel, some very clear instruction, yet he did not follow it. He started to act in himself. He started to act in uh, just an unrighteous manner. And this was all very clearly spoken, spoken to him. In, um, um, and it's, you can go back to 
the beginning of, of uh, chapter 15. So listen to these words, though, again. This is what Samuel said to Saul after he had given him all of his excuses. Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Again, as we think about these things, there's a personal perspective that goes forth into our business. It flows out of us into all of our business dealings. Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Do you seek the Lord when it comes to all aspects of your business? Do you just take action on your own because maybe you feel like there's not clarity? Maybe God is saying, wait. Maybe he's not saying, hey, go and do this. Maybe he's saying, why don't you slow down a little bit? And let me work on the details with you. Uh, But rather than that, Samuel uh, did not give himself completely to the Lord on this mission. He got out there and got tempted by the sheep and all of this stuff. And he said, oh, you know what? Let's, Let's use this as a sacrifice. Well, that wasn't the command of God. So he was disobedient. And it might have looked like the best intentions of the on the you know on the world, uh, best intentions, but it was not. It was uh, well, it could have been good intentions, but it doesn't ma- didn't matter because it was not an act out of obedience. And then in verse twenty three, and think about this. Let this settle in a little bit today. For rebellion is as the sin of divination, or as the sin of witchcraft. To rebel, to be disobedient to God is as the sin of witchcraft. Think about that, man. That, those are that's pretty, pretty solid words. And presumption, to presume that God wants something, is an, as iniquity of idolatry. To presume that you're going to do something and God's going to bless it, that's idolatry. Uh, So as we think about our businesses, we have to really keep the perspective, uh, spiritual perspective, that God is first. It's His voice we obey, not the voice of the world, not a presumption. It's in seeking Him. And consequence, because you have rejected the word of the Lord He has also rejected you from being king. We have to have a heart, a soft heart before the Lord when it comes to being obedient to him, waiting on him to let our businesses take uh, a role of an idol in our lives is a sin to presume that the Lord is going to bless something because we've done it is sin. To obey is better than sacrifice. It's better to just be obedient than to gather things with good intentions, thinking that, oh, I'm going to just do this, and I, this would be for the Lord, and the Lord can bless this. Well, yeah, He can bless it, but will, will He if you didn't act in obedience? I hope that blesses your heart today as you think about your business, think about every aspect of what you do, think about uh, being obedient to the Lord. Spend some time with Him today and seek him. On behalf of Sean Elliott and myself, Dana Morrison, we'd like to say thank you sincerely for listening to this episode. We hope that it helps you on your entrepreneurial journey. Uh, Truly, thank you for being here. If you would like to learn more about Zero to Income and be informed as tools and resources are released, we hope that you will take the time to get on the mailing list. Just go to zero2income.com, Z-E-R-O, the number two, income.com, and get on the mailing list to be informed as tools and resources are released. If you like this episode, we hope that you will like it, review it, share it with those around you that are entrepreneurial minded. Thank you so much for being here.